Alright, today's experiment is elephant toothpaste, a wonderful chemical reaction with stuff you most likely already have at home. Uh, what you'll need is one half cup of hydrogen peroxide, this is 3%, the kind you can buy at most stores. Add that to your container. Here I have a flask, uh, but a lot of different containers will work. And then you'll add a few squirts of liquid dish soap. Uh, for a cooler effect, add food coloring. Uh, you'll need a packet of yeast, dissolve that in three tablespoons of warm water. Or, instead of yeast, uh, you can buy some potassium iodide, dissolve that in two tablespoons of water. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison, and on the left we have yeast, on the right we have potassium iodide. We add it, and ooh, there we go, the yeast is giving us a lovely display of foam as it oozes out of the container. Beautiful. Uh, but the iodide is being kind of sad and, and pathetic, so we're going to speed it up a bit. Finally, finally, here we go, iodide gets it out of the container. Alright, so yeast seems to be the winner there, but for a cooler effect, we can use stronger hydrogen peroxide. This is 35%. Uh, you'll want adult supervision with this. It is very strong and can burn your skin. 3% hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide on the left, 35% on the right, using potassium iodide, and woo! There we go. A lovely display of foaming, oozing gases trapped in soap and stuff. Fit for an elephant's mouth. But keep in mind that the hydrogen peroxide 35%, the stronger one, is not really worth getting unless you have the potassium iodide. It does not really work well with yeast because the reaction is actually too hot for the yeast. Uh, you can see the steam coming off it. So that is elephant toothpaste. Tune in next time for more Squint Experiments.